Since the first recorded case of HIV in 1960s, we have come a long way in the battle to eradicate HIV from the world. World Health Organization set out a mandate to reduce the numbers of HIV infection to zero by 2030, with condoms as the only prevention tool. Is this an achievable reality for India? We have a chance now to sort of eradicate HIV. Um, because it might have seemed impossible with uh, condoms at a point, but uh, now with PrEP, if everybody does get on PrEP and um, does religiously uh, use it, um, there is a chance now to wipe uh, this uh, disease. Hold on, let's rewind. Might have seemed impossible with uh, condoms at a point, but uh, now with PrEP. What is PrEP? On July 16, 2012, FDA approved the first drug for reducing the risk of sexually acquired HIV infection. It is a patent drug of Gilead Science. Truvada, taken daily, is to be used for pre-exposure prophylaxis in combination with safer sex practice to reduce the risk of HIV in adults at high risk. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention suggests that daily PrEP reduces the risk of getting HIV from sex by more than 90%. In India, CIPLA has the regulatory rights to sell its version of Travada. However, there is a general lack of awareness about PrEP in India. People from the community are not aware about PrEP as an option. Out of all the respondents I interviewed from the community, everyone had heard about the word PrEP for the first time. PrEP or Travada is commonly known in America Hardly any people know about it here. In USA, when PrEP was trickling down to the masses, there were several controversies that surfaced, ranging from the stigma attached to HIV, the shame attached to sexual habits, as well as the cost for procurement of Travada. However, in India, our culture breeds its own set of stigma. Over the last five years, I've, I've really strongly started to believe that it's the stigma that kills and it's not the virus. Small thing that is being made into a very big issue because of stigma. Stigma itself is a big disease. Why? Because if you don't have a knowledge, then you get a fear. And just because of that fear, you think, oh, I think the mention of PrEP for a lot of people just becomes like, oh, um, uh, the person just wants to uh, have unprotected sex or bareback, I think. Um, and that, I think, is sort of slut shaming. We as a community have a tendency to make fun of people who, are, who have multiple partners who want to explore relationships beyond the traditional yeah. norms of what is an acceptable relationship. So, but we have to get there, you know, we haven't come to that bridge yet. I wouldn't say go for prep right now, but definitely it's it's an option that needs to be explored without just dismissing it over the fact that, uh, it, you know, this is going to increase promiscuity and increase uh, STIs. We as a community clearly have several hurdles to overcome. The National AIDS Control Organization in India is currently holding demonstration project for the feasibility of the medication. The general idea with the project is to find out if people in high-risk community are willing to accept this medication, and if so, will they adhere to it. The project ends by early 2017. The question is whether we can move ahead from the stigma to achieve the goals set out by WHO to eradicate HIV by 2030. We can always be optimistic and they they have a goal that says 90, 90, 90, which means 90% people know their status, 90% people are on treatment and 90% people know their viral loads. Great, I, I just don't know how we want to get the last 90, but for me that's, an, that's something that's a lot more achievable and I'm sure if we get there, then eradicating HIV or at least controlling it, no new infections, could be a reality provided everyone's on board with it.